in my previous video, I explained the process of taking a point cloud file or a LiDAR file and importing it into Recap Pro, processing the data there and exporting it out to an RCP or an RCS file for use in Civil 3D. Okay. Now let's finish off the process of taking, let's go ahead and take the RCP or RCS file into Civil 3D and then pro, uh, process it there to make a surface. Okay, I'm currently in Civil 3D 2018. This process has changed if you were no, uh, used to it in 2017 or 16 or before. Uh, this process changed in 2018 and then it's slightly changed again in 2019. So I'll show you 2019 here in a little while as well. So to begin, let's head over to the insert tab. Let's come over here to the point cloud area and select this attach point cloud. You click the attach point cloud and you navigate over to your point cloud. Now my point cloud is the same one that we used in our, our uh, previous video. So I'm going to go ahead and get that in my sample project. There's the B cave RCP file that I exported out. Okay. I'm going to take the defaults here as where I want to insert them. You can adjust those according to your liking. And you're going to notice that your visual style changes is now I'm now using in a 3d wireframe because uh, in 2d wireframe you're going to notice that you can't see your point clouds and your point cloud is right there imported according to uh, uh, its location uh, and if you had a coordinate zone assigned to it it should transpose accordingly okay so if you notice when you select on a point cloud you have to select on the edge to actually select the point cloud if you try to select the center of this or anywhere in the middle it does not work it's the edge that you want remember that because the very next thing i'm going to do is create a surface from the point cloud so to do that you simply select the point cloud on the edge and you're going to notice that there is an option to create surface from point cloud right here in the ribbon this is the difference between 2018 and 2019. I'm going to show you in 2019 where that button resides. Let's give this surface a name, e.g. Okay. And let's go select our style. You choose how you want the surface to come in and what you want to crop out or include or remove. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and take the defaults here. And then if I... Uh, if you had already processed this in recap and removed any of the vegetation, you probably won't need a filter on this. Uh, depending on what you have in your point cloud will drive what kind of filter you have. This isn't going to be pretty. This is just for example purposes alone. So I'm just going to use a planar average and I'm going to go create the surface. You're going to get a notification that says your, your surface is being created and processed in the background, yet you can still work. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and close, and then you're going to see a balloon appear down here that says you're going to be notified that your surface is done when it's done. So let's go ahead and let that surface process, and then we'll continue from there. All right, and with the magic of pause and continue, uh, it took me about three minutes for this to uh, import my surface and process it. As you can see, I've got the balloon notification that my surface is there, and you will see that you actually have a surface inside of civil 3d done you're done with that now the whole point of that that i wanted to get to this is there it is but let me show you in 2019 where to find that so let me head over here to 2019 now to speed things up i've already gone through the process of the insert and the attach file and i've already attached the point cloud but you're going to notice that in 2019 when you select the point cloud there isn't a create surface from point cloud in this in the ribbon the only way to do that is to come over back to the home tab the surfaces pull down and then create surface from point cloud right here and you will be asked to pick the surface again again you got to pick the edge of the surface and then you proceed to go through the same process as you did in 2018 that's the only difference between 2018 and 2019 I hope this helps uh, clarify a few things, and uh, if you have any questions, let us know.